guys, Mayflom here today. Welcome to my studio. I am going to be diving into one of my personal favorite tried and true, it always works ideas for card making. And traditionally, this is an idea that I use with my dimensional embellishments. It gets them used up, keeps them organized. It's a lot of fun. But here's the thing. For those of you who maybe prefer to work with stamps or want to create one layer cards, we've got ideas for you too. So today what I'm going to do is show you how to do a card like this super quick, super easy, super, super fun. And you can use whatever stamps you might have on hand and also whatever color mediums you might have. I'm going to be working with holiday stamps from Ellen Hudson, but again, you can use whatever you might have. So let's get creating. Here are two examples of this particular card design that is covered in class. I just bring these two out because I want to show you that, first of all, my original intent with this design is first, foremost, and always to use up everything from sequins to buttons to epoxy dots to beads, to whatever you might have, but you can use them up, a bunch of them, in a very simple way. So it works either way, and as you can see, you can do a line of stamps. You can use up all those great little stamps that maybe don't get used enough. And here is a version completely flat. On these ones, my elf is propped up. This is completely, completely flat, and we're gonna do a version of this here in this video for you today. Now, friends, this is an old used envelope, and this is the top half of, let's call it a mask, because that's the closest thing I can think of for it. Now, I have a I have a paper towel down here, but I actually don't need it at this point in time. So I'm going to put my card down on my work surface. I'll just center it here for you. And then I'm going to set the top part down. Now, if you are working on a grid type mat, that works really well. And then I've got my other side. This side is a piece of acetate. This is my point, guys. You can use whatever you happen to have. And this piece, the tape has come off of it. So I will replace the tape here. For the washi tape that I use, I tend, guys, I'm using the stuff that I have too much of or that I can't seem to get rid of. Uh, but you can use whatever you happen to have. Now, I'm going to use archival ink because I want to use water-based mediums such as Distress Ink and Clean Color Pens. You use whatever works well for you. So if that's Memento because you're going to be working with Copics, whatever it might be, you do whatever is going to work best for you. I'm going to start with the sentiment because I like to make sure there's room. I need room for the full sentiment. I don't need room for the full images, as you'll see in a moment, but I do want the full sentiment. So let's get that in there first. And I'm going to offset it slightly, but I am going to pretty much center it in there. And I just make sure it's in there. Now on mine, I did curve it a little. As you can see, you can do it curved or straight. This is the Christmas Scribbles stamp set. Essentials by Ellen Stamps. Love these. And I'm going to use the branch. I'm going to use the branch a lot. And just repeat, repeat, repeat. I am absolutely not concerned if I go over the edge because look what happens if I go over the edge. The, the barrier that I've set up will just stop it. I'm also not going to concern myself if I have an imperfect stamp because look, I can just come back in here maybe at a little different angle with a second stamp and take care of it. Okay, it's gonna all work out. There is really not a lot of ways that you can mess this up. You can just enjoy yourself, have some fun with the stamping and just fit it, fit it all in. It's okay if it's not just so, it's gonna work out. I love that and as you'll see in a minute, we're gonna do some coloring as well. So lots of opportunities for creative play. And you could be using, you know, I could be using all of the stamps in this set. I could be using a lot of the smaller stamps. I'm not, not because I don't love them. I do love them. In fact, I have a lot of examples with them. However, for this, I decided I wanted to keep it much more simple. I wanted to really, really focus in on the branch 
and also the pine cone, which I have here. And I'm going to start with some Distress Ink in Cracked Pistachio. And yes, you see right, I am just sticking it right directly on there. I am not messing around with this. I'm just going right for it. And then I'm going to take some Forest Moss and put just a little bit on to a couple of the spots there. And I'm going to take Bundled Sage and put some Bundled Sage directly on here as well. And you don't have to worry about anything messing up. You don't also do not have to worry about if it's going to be just so, if it's going to be pretty. Don't worry. I promise you this will all work out in the end. And then I'm going to take my clean color. And I happen to have the deep green. That's just the one that I have that I'm working with here. And I'm going to color a few little branches like so. You might be thinking that this looks like a big, big mess. Well, right now it certainly does look that way, but we're going to work our magic. So I'm going to put, run a little water down the center, only down the center because I don't want to cause a lot of water at the edges. And then this is a water brush. You don't have to use a water brush. You can use a regular paintbrush. And again, you could be using watercolor. You could do, you can't quite do this kind of a look, but you could do the stamping and a different, your own kind of coloring with Copics. Whatever markers you might have, you can have fun with this, guys. I am just going in here and look at how blendy, blendy fun that is. Oh, I just love it. And these Zig Clean Colors, they do work nicely with Distress, which is a plus. So I'm going to let that dry so that it will look lovely, lovely, but in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and get these pine cones colored in a bit because I don't want green pine cones and I want a little contrast as well. And the other thing I'll add is a little bit of Heidi Swap Gold Mist. What I love about using this when the paper is wet, it spreads out and it just seeps gold into all over and it just looks so, so pretty. Now, once I am satisfied with everything, I can just peel this right off. Now, if you have a problem, there could be a number of problems here. If, for example, the, you got a little excited with your water and it's a little extended, you can just kind of even it out or extend it a bit just so it looks like, oh, hey, 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 it's not an accident. I just didn't want to have that be so strict looking. See, it's okay. We don't have to sweat it. Another thing that you could do if you wanted, if you had a little bit of glossy accents, you could add a little glossy accents. If you have a little glitter glue that you want to add, maybe a little stickles, you could run a little bit of that, little wink of Stella, something like that, if you want. I like adding a little sparkle. And for me, adding that little, those little lines of sparkle is going to help offset how I got a little underneath there. But we're really, honestly, I'm not gonna worry about that. Just adding a little water and then taking a tissue or a paper towel and just blotting it, it's really gonna take care of itself, okay? I hope you've enjoyed my card making and my ideas here today. For more about me and my crafting, my online classes and all of that fun stuff, just come visit me over at craftwithmay.com. I wish you very happy holiday crafting.